What's going on YouTube? Back with another video for you guys. This video I'm going to talk about five side hustles you can do. You do not need a college degree for any of this. You do not need to go to any type of special school or get any type of trade for this. And it's not going to be official business. These are just five little side hustles that you can do on the side to make a quick 20, 50, 100 dollars. So let's get straight into the video. Now, number one I have for you guys, busketing. Busketing is basically when you're on the street and you're doing a little side performance and you have a bucket and you're going to have people throw money in if you perform well. Now with busketing, you could do anything. You could do break dance you can play the guitar play the drums anything in the street that's going to catch people eye and catch their attention and you're going to make sure you have your bucket now before you start busking these are some things you need to know number one thing you need to know when you're going to busk it you got to make sure that you have a bucket with you or some type of way to collect the money a lot of people who play the guitar they have their case and they have their sign right there make sure you also have a sign you're going to have your sign have your bucket your hat whatever it is and you're going to tell people hey i'm going to perform if you want to donate second thing is when you do it you do not want to do this in a small all royal area with a population of 1,000 people. You need to be in a pretty big place. I'll say it, more than 20,000 people. You can do it at your hometown. I mean, you can get started anywhere, but I'm just saying if you want to make the most cash, maybe $100 in two hours or something like that, you want to make sure that you're in a pretty good populated area. Also, you can go at shopping centers. If Let's say you're in a rural area, but your shopping center has the same 100 people there every day. You can go to shopping centers, but be careful. These are going to be some cons that come with busketing. The cops and stores. A lot of stores are not going to want you to be busketing in front of their stores so they're going to tell you hey get out the way you can't do this here and some of them will call the police and some of the police some will be cool and some won't be cool so be careful some police officers they just have a power trip and going to want to arrest you for that and some cops are just hey man get off the property you know can you go over there or go over here but you can't do this here and they will let you go so when you're going to be busketing out there make sure you are very careful make sure you're safe and make sure you follow the rules if people are trying to steal your money you're going to have to defend yourself or if anyone trying to steal your money make sure you have it in a more secure safe area you're closer to you so if anyone trying to grab you or do anything you'll be able to catch a thief or whatnot because some people are like that out there though might be a crazy person i don't know and maybe they just want to take your money because they see that hey a lot of people donated to you and they really need that money so also be careful of not only the police and the store owners but of other people as well second side hustle i have for you is being a painter now there's two types of painters there's a licensed painter and then there's a painter who sell on the street now let's talk about the street painter since this is a side hustle not official business you can paint and make take you one or two days or how long it takes you to paint i'm not a painter i'm not an artist and this is not only just for paint this can also be for art if you do it by pencil you can go out there and you can basically be a little vendor and you can set up your shop or whatnot i've seen this a lot in the cities be careful police and store owners might be offended by that and they may try to arrest you so you can either walk up to people and say hey i'm selling art do you want to buy i actually have seen that they have their like their portfolio have like a folder some of them have like a big binder and they're carrying it and they'll show you art if you want to buy it five ten fifteen bucks also what i've seen is you can go door to door and trying to sell art be careful when you do this in the rich neighborhoods you will get the police on you or you will have a weapon pointed at you so be careful when you also do that and then let's talk about if you're going to do it as official business and get an actual license and copyright license you can make art and post it online and sell it i've seen a lot of people do it i even seen people who are homeless do this so if any anybody can do this really make sure you have a copyright issue though because some people will steal your art and trying to claim it as their own you do not want that so if anything happened make sure you're going to have a backup plan for that because you don't want people just out there stealing your art and one more thing with artists and painters you can do custom designs for people trust me there's a lot of content creators out there or just companies and they need logos done pictures done and they pay well i don't know the price range but i know for a lot of youtubers banners and pictures they pay about 30 60 bucks everyone is different you can it, it depends on your time really so you can make a lot of money from this but it also takes a lot of time so as a side hustle it may take you a week it may take you a month but you will make money from this trust me and also just a quick tip for all the painters and artists out there make sure you post your work on social media and also have your tag in the picture so when you post your art on the side of it you want to put your name or you can put it across the page but don't make it like a big blurry thing you want to make sure that you have credit on the pictures that you take because a lot of people like to crop stuff out or blur stuff out on the side so make sure when you post on social media you have that insurance on your picture or your photo or whatever you're going to create third side hustle i have for you this is really for teenagers or for people that want to make quick buck this one is going to be washing cars this 
this actually happens in my hometown a lot. There's usually a group of guys, a group of girls, or both, and they'll wash people's cars. They'll say, hey, we'll wash your cars for 20 bucks. Some of them even have card readers. Now, let's say you're you're doing a solo. You're gonna have to go either door to door to neighbors and say, hey man, I see your car it looks pretty dirty. Can I wash it for 20 bucks? But before you do that, you wanna either accept it on Cash App, PayPal, in cash, or a card reader. If they don't have any cash on them, they can put their card in. So if you're thinking of washing cars, I would definitely get a card reader because a lot of people do not carry cash on them nowadays. And you can wash your cars. Now, car washing can maybe take you half an hour. It can take you 20 minutes. It's all up to you. If you have help, that's even better. But you know, you're gonna have to share your profit if you do get help. Not the best side hustle ever, but hey man, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. So that's just a little quick one for my teens out there. Now I have one for everyone who have a cell phone and have Wi-Fi. This one is servers. I'm not gonna put any servers out there because I don't wanna let anyone say, hey, download this app, download that app, go on this website. I don't want anybody blaming me or say, hey man, you told me this is safe or this is not safe or blah, blah, blah. So you can go and do servers. Now these servers, they pay crap. I'm gonna be honest. I did a server and it took me a week for three bucks. But money is money. This is all gonna, it's everyday thing. So basically with the server that I did, I think it was a Google server if I'm not mistaken. I keep saying server, my bad, survey. So yeah, with the Google survey that I did, it took me about seven days, eight days, and I only got three bucks and it went to my PayPal. And I was just like, oh, okay. But basically you just gotta vote on things, talk about things, answer questions. You might you might need to answer one question or they'll ask you 10 questions and you get cents, it's all by cents. So let's say you answer three questions, you get 30 cents, you answer 10, you get a dollar, it's all different. But this is the longest one, so just be where it is gonna take you maybe a week, two weeks, and the pay is very low. I mean, I think this one is gonna actually be the lowest out of all of them, but also beware of scams and fake apps. There's a lot of fake apps out there, there's a lot of scammers out there, so be careful, make sure you're actually gonna do your research on any of these servers. If you do decide to take it, I know a lot of people take servers, especially the homeless or the less unfortunate people, and hey, man, that $3 would get them by. So if I was you, I would take advantage of that. Like I said, it's once a day, but money is money. And the last side hustle I have for you guys is pet sitting or dog walking. I prefer dog walking if I were you, but you can do pet sitting. Now, let's just get this through. Now, before you start to do any of this, there's two apps you can use. You can use Rover and Wag. It's all up to you. You pick the one that you want to use. I heard they're very expensive too. Dog walkers, you can charge like 20 bucks for a half an hour. Like, that is crazy. You can charge 60 for an hour. It's, it's all different. It's all about your local area, but dog sitters, pet sitters, I heard they are very expensive. They charge hourly, so look at the price range. You can probably go a dollar or two below the average range just so you can get up into there but but there's a lot of people who want you to take care of their dog and they're willing to pay that extra 20 40 60 bucks for you to walk their dog or do whatever with their pet beware of angry rude or just i'm not just pet you don't want to get attacked you don't want anything to happen to you before you actually take a pet out or you're going to watch a pet make sure you ask questions because you don't want them just to lead you into a trap or maybe their dog is just too aggressive for them so they want to see if you can take care of the dog also if you're going to be a dog sitter and you're going to be walking dogs make sure you're not going in sketchy areas not every area is good not every area is bad but you just got to be careful for your own safety example ladies ladies if you're walking a dog let's say you're walking two small chihuahuas those chihuahuas can't really protect you like if it was a pit bull or a rat rattler or a canine or something like that so when you're walking in these areas be careful make sure your situational awareness is on point make sure you're looking around make sure you know each sign each road and even with the dogs make sure the dog is safe make sure they're not stepping on needles or they're gonna go and poison ivy or they're gonna do something crazy something that can either harm them or harm you make sure you're being careful out there because it may seem like an easy simple job and you get paid for a lot for it but if you go in the wrong area at the wrong time something may happen to you so be careful so those are all the side hustles i really have for all of you i hope this video actually helped one of you i try to give you different side hustles that you could do online you could do physically or if you have a talent i'll have more side hustles videos in the futures if you want to check out my other side hustles and businesses down in the description below they will be there but that's all i have for you for this video if it actually helped you out make sure you like subscribe tell me in the comments which side hustles you do or side businesses you have right now stay humble stay positive stay safe and peace out